Good morning again, y'all. Happy Sunday. So I'm coming back again, y'all. Mm-hmm. Nope, I ain't got the shower yet. Mm-mm-mm. I just keep it real and keep it 100. I ain't got in the shower yet. Wash my hair. It's okay. That's just that. But you know what, son? I just keep it real, okay? Y'all know this is channel 100, a.k.a. 100. And the only difference between me and a whole lot of other people is that I'm just willing to admit this thing. You know, some people, you know, they don't like to admit a lot of shit that I do, and I keep it real, and I'm not ashamed. Some people do the same shit, they just don't tell it. And that's fine, you ain't got to tell your shit. My channel, so, I mean, I made a choice to do it with you, channel. And, and tell, you know, certain things that I want to tell. If you don't want to tell it, that's fine. But at the same time, don't act like your pussy don't stink, okay? I hate for people that, you know, act like, oh, she sat in your hand. Bitch, your pussy stink before. You don't always jump up out the bed and hit the shower. I mean, just let's just keep it real, okay? You ain't got to come on and tell your shit, but don't act like your pussy don't stink, okay? I'm just saying, okay? This might be TMI. This might be a little bit too much for, for some of y'all. But for those of you who've been rocking with me, whether you rocking with me because you truly like me or you hate me and you just can't help but watch me, just your pussy done stank before too, okay? And if you think it haven't, Okay, let, let, let's just put it like this, okay? Let's let's keep this thing all the way 100, okay? Ain't nary bitch, okay? And I'm not saying bitch in a derogatory way, all right? Let me just clean it up. Let me just clean it up. Cause I, you know, let me just clean it up, okay? Not nary female on this earth, okay? Have you as a female at one time or another have sat on the toilet and have had some peculiar smells come from up out that toilet coming from your coochie, okay? Tell me I'm lying. Oh, okay, yeah, let's just keep it real. We done all set our asses on the toilet and then smelt our coochie one time or another, okay? Mm-hmm, so, yeah, that's, that's just called keeping it real, okay? And if that's too much for you, and if you feel like, oh, well, you shouldn't talk about that bitch, this is my channel. I'm just saying, okay, for those of you who may have a problem, it's my motherfucking channel, okay? So if I want to talk about stinky coochies, I let the truth be told, okay? You done sat on the toilet before, and if you have it, I'm going to tell you how you can find out if your coochie stink, okay? And you can be a clean person and wash up, but that don't mean you ain't never smelt your coochie. We, we, we are females, okay? This how you know. If you if you wanted them 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 oh my not my coochie I I wash regularly bitch you didn't smell your coochie before that's how that's how you know whether or not somebody smell like fish or not how how else would you know if you walking down the street and you smell a, a female go by and, and 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 you get a fishy smell in your nose how you know that that's a pussy smell unless you didn't smell your own because if you just sit next to somebody and you start smelling fish if you ain't never smelled pussy before like your own pussy then you wouldn't know what it smell like in order to say somebody else coochie stink so let's just keep it real. anyway that is not what i come on here to talk about how i get sidetracked like that mm. well anyway yeah yeah take your pants off take your drawers all the way off honey Gap your legs and sit your ass on that toilet, honey. You're going to sell your pussy and your ass all at the same time, okay? At least once in your life, okay? Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's keep this moving. So, anyway, what I really came on here to talk about is that the fact that I think, y'all, that I am an undercover nudist, okay? I really do. And I just discovered that or thought about that yesterday. Like, you know what? I think I'm an undercover nudist. And I have never talked about this with my husband. Well, yeah, I did. I mentioned it to him when it, when it, when that hit my brain yesterday. And I wasn't taking no whole bath when I thought about it because I told y'all I have my best thoughts when I take a whole bath. You know, washing up in the sink. You know that kind of wash your coochie in the sink time kind of stuff. You might have to do some time. Anyway, honey, this was a thought I had when I was in my bedroom. But the reason why I had that thought is because I had thought about it. Okay. So, y'all know I got five kids. But when I had my first three kids who are now grown, 
when my boys, I had two boys and a girl at the time before I had my two younger ones that I have now who are um, almost 13 and almost 15. But when I had my first three kids, I used to walk around now. This Okay, so I used to live in Baltimore City when I had my first three kids in Baltimore City in Maryland. And, um, I used to, okay, now I didn't have air conditioner at first. You know, I, I mean, come on. I, I was a single mother. I had one of those, you put the fan in the window, okay? Yeah, you got to put the fan in the window and and, and, and it'd be blowing out hot air. Like, I ain't had no AC. I ain't no central air. I had no AC in the window. I was a single mother who didn't have no whole lot of money, so I had to use fans. So, it was hot as hell in Baltimore City. So, when my boys were little, like, I would say, like, between the ages of one, like, one and two years old, maybe three, before they knew anything, you know what I'm saying? Before they could really, really talk and be like, oh, what's that, mommy? I used to walk around the house with my underwear on, no bra, no shirt, no pants, no socks, no nothing, just underwear. And I would literally walk around my house like that all day in the summertime. Like, I, it would be hot. And the reason, and the only reason why I stopped doing it, when my boys got to the point where they were actually, because you know, when you got big boobs, yes, they do hang on your stomach. Yes, they do hang down to your knees, you know, that kind of shit. But hell, uh, who, I ain't never seen no huge boobs that stand that attention. I mean, they're heavy. Ain't nothing that heavy going to stand that attention. I don't give a fuck how old you are. Ain't got nothing to do with, you know, being old. I mean, I know when you get older, gravity, things just kind of fall down. But shit, you could be uh, 18 years old. And if you got big 44 triple D boobs like me at 20 years old, uh, sister, your shit going to hang down. It's going to touch your stomach. It's going to touch your knees. It's going to touch something, but it ain't going to be standing at attention. Well, anyway, the reason why I had to stop doing that was, was because my boobs were so big and they looked like balls and toys. And my boys, when they got to the point where they started grabbing them, like literally lifting it up. Cause like I told y'all, it was laying on my stomach. They would literally grab one of my boobs and lift it up and, and, and bounce it. Like they would do like this to it. And I was like, Oh shit. Yeah. They get into the, I need to put bras on and shirts on and shit. I couldn't do it no more. But yeah, I used to walk around the house like that with no problem. And I loved it. And then when I had my bet, when I had my son, I mean, when I had my daughter, when I had my last child, okay, when I'm in labor, okay, I was in labor 24 hours with her. I think I was in labor 26 hours with my son, who's four, who's 14. And I think with my daughter, who great turned 13, I was in labor for like 26 hours. So you know how when you're in a hospital and um, you, you know, you in labor and you in pain, like you don't want nothing touching that's bad enough. They got all this stuff hooked up to you. They got IVs hooked up to you, met oxygen if you you know if the baby heart be dropping all that kind of shit like they be having all kinds of tubes and stuff hooked up to you so and and you know you have to have that stuff hooked up to you but I would be in so much pain and they would give you a gown and stuff I, I didn't want no gown on I didn't want the tubes and stuff they had them but I had to keep them and I didn't want no gown on I didn't want no drawers I didn't want no shirt I didn't even want any covers okay so I literally was in the hospital all them hours in labor, butterball naked on the bed, okay? All kinds of nurses and doctors were steadily coming in, and I didn't give a damn, okay? Because I was in pain. Like, I didn't want nothing touching me, okay? That's just the bottom line. I didn't want nothing touching me. And um, I was literally naked, and it was it was like, I guess the, the nurses and stuff, when they would go back out to the nurse station, they would be talking like, oh, my God, that lady... As I had my daughter, one of the black nurses came to me and she was like, um, I'm, 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 I'm Mr. you know, she called me, you know, what my last name. And she was like, I just wanted to tell you in all my years that I have been working and, and being a nurse, I have never seen anybody do their labor but a ball naked. She said, I just, I was just so amazed. Like, and I said, Miss, look, let me tell you something, okay? I was in pain, okay? I didn't give a damn who came in here and saw my ass and saw my crotch and saw nothing, okay? All I know is I was hurting. I didn't want no clothes on. Just get this baby out of me, okay? And we laughed about it. But, but um, child, when I was in, like I say, butterball naked. But I'm just thinking, like, am I undercover nudist or something? And I never asked my husband, like, I would really like to go to a nudist camp one time. And just be free, you know, like ass out, coochie out, titties out. 
I really would love to do that. Now, I've never asked my husband about that. I never, I don't think I ever told my husband about, you know, that. Because I never really thought about it like that. But it just came to me yesterday. I think I'm an undercover nudist. I wonder what he's going to say if I ask him, you know, do um do he want to go to a nudist camp? Hey, boo! Yeah. Let's get a live answer. Come here for a minute. I want to ask you something. All right, check this out, y'all. Come here for a minute. I want to ask you something. All right, this is my first time asking my husband about a nudist camp, y'all. So y'all going to hear it live. Hey, boo. Remember yesterday I told you that um I think I'm an undercover nudist? Come in and shut the door because that TV too loud. I want to go to a nudist camp with you, me and you. What you think about that, going to a nudist camp? You ever thought about doing that? Yeah. But shit, I ain't think you want to do it. Really? That's why you never said them because you ain't think I wanted to do it? No. Oh, well, shit, I want to do it. So can we, go, can we do that one day? Go to a nudist camp? Ooh, where are they located? But like, why are you smiling? <laughs> oh my God, y'all! Like he got the biggest smile on his face. <laughs> I know he impressed us. He knows it's okay. <laughs> he gone, y'all. But we got the answer, child. He was grinning. Okay, nudist camp. Here we come, child. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Call Spice Chow in, in your marriage, honey. Thanks, boo. Can you let me know later where the nudist camp at and when we can go? Maybe um we can go for my birthday. Boo! Oh, he said hey, he's all through here and burst. <laughs> I don't know why. And that's weird. Because he's the freak of the century. But yet and still, he be embarrassed, like, not with me, but, you know, like, I'm, I'm shit, I'm just straight up, I'm just out, I'm just out the box, okay, I, I, I stay out the box, shit, I, I don't like being in the box, I got claustrophobia, so get me out the goddamn box, but he be embarrassed, and now that he know that he was on camera, well, not, I ain't showing, but that he was talking on camera, he embarrassed now, so he said he ain't talking to me. But when I get off this this video, he's going to be talking cash shit. Oh, baby, when you did. But that's a trip. So listen, y'all, here's like a little tip. You know, sometimes your husbands might be interested in certain things, but they don't know how you might feel about it. And and, and, and husbands are not going to say and ask you things that they think that they might be crossing the line or they think that might, you know, get you upset or something like that. He said he been thought about that, but he just didn't know how I would feel about it. And, you know, I'm off the chain, so he ain't going to come at me sideways about no bullshit. But, um, yeah, so there you go. A live answer, child. So, um, undercover nudist no more, child. I'm free to be me, honey. I'm going to show my ass, okay? <laughs> honey. All right, y'all. Well, let me go because I got to go talk to my husband about this nudist camp um, thing that we're going to do. Mm, mm, mm. All right, bye, y'all. Mm, child, it's a time in the land. Sick, it ain't so. Mm.